Petrov and Romans. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with God's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Paul is telling us there is no such thing as fake love. You're either sincere or you don't love. And I sense between the two of you there is a sincere love. I'd like to start by saying how lucky I am to have met you. To know your smile, your laugh, the way you say you love me. When I'm with you, I feel like I'm. You make me feel confident and brave and able to take on whatever life throws at us. Joshua, today I choose you to stand by your side and be joy to your heart. To bring out the best in you, to learn with you and grow with you, even as time and life change in hope. To laugh with you in good times and struggle with you in bad times. To be your best friend and your friend. You are the calm and tender to my soul. Josh, everything I have and everything I am belongs to you. first. Be patient and forgiving. I promise to encourage and support you and buy you chips when you're sad. I promise to bring you joy, make you laugh, and consider your feelings. To be a good listener, to always be there for you. I promise to be the godly leader you need, pray with you and for you every day. I'm so happy I get to live this life with you. Amber, I promise to build our home on Jesus and watch our love grow for Him. In all things, I promise to give glory to Christ. I love you. I promise to always love you and care for you as you love. I promise to always accept you with you, even if I'd rather be danger. I promise to also always put you first, recognizing your needs for you and striving to see you the most. I'll encourage you daily, always to be God in Christ. I'll respect you in the ways you deserve to be honoring you for the sake of my With unconditional love, I'll support you in your dreams and follow you wherever Christ leads us as a family. Prayerfully considering all things Christ places in our hearts. I promise to pray with you and for you every day. I promise to build our home on Jesus and watch our love grow for him. In all things, I promise to give Christ the glory. Gosh, I did, I do, and I always will to you. I love you. As you, as husband and wife, whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Josh, you may share your first wedding kiss with your wife now.
Jesus Christ that we've gotten to this point. And that's, that's amazing. God's put me two together for a purpose. I don't want you guys to remember that yet. I need Christ. And it's because of that reason that we want to put him first in everything, especially in our marriage. Could you be? 